Hello! Yeah, I'm a little bit late making the video. Um, I actually didn't know on whether or not we were putting up the tree today. So from the looks of it, it's going to be tomorrow. So that means the video for tomorrow will have to be done on Monday in correspondence with Monday's video. So yeah, it's just that requires me to do a bit more digging out for things to open. Uh, everything else that I've got in the one box that I can access is mainly trading cards and big things and other little bits and pieces that I have plans already in motion for. So I can't really just pull those out and just open them on a whim for this when I've already got something in mind for them. So I'm having to do smaller little things or things that are just out of uh, bounds. So uh, <laughs> I will be doing two of this on Monday to make up the time. So yeah. Let's get on with it, shall we? You can already see the second thing there. Let's see if you can guess what it is just from that little bit of the corner. And no, I did not manage to actually build the Pac-Man. The instructions were that horrible. They were that bad. So, we had Son Goku, Yamcha, and Big Green with one arm. Let's see what the fourth one gives us, shall we? find these things so irritating to open. Alright. Um, Alright, I can already tell. I got a monkey. It is a very detailed monkey. You know, I have to wonder how many times did any Super Saiyan go into Saiyan Beast mode? It's just really, how many times did we see the giant monkey? Because there was, I think there was once or twice in Dragon Ball, but they were accidents and they had to cut off the tail. But then Vegeta did go giant monkey in Dragon Ball Z. But how many times after that have we seen the giant monkey? <gasps> he can stand! Oh, we are three for four of ones that can stand. So this just proves that Kakarot is just completely cack handed. All right. So we shall put the monkey back in his cage. Hey, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of Vegeta, all right? He's a vegetable. He doesn't know anything about the muffin button. He knows nothing of the muffin button. So. 
Let's open this, shall we? I've got two of these, so I might open another one later on. Right, so first of all, the ones that we have available to us are a Game Boy, which I've got an actual Game Boy right there, an NES controller, Game Boy Color, the Game Boy Advanced, which I would love to have, N64 controller, a SNES controller, GameCube, and a 3DS. Alright, personally, I would very much like the Game Boy Advance. Just because I have a love for the GBA. Because my first handheld console was a secondhand, clear Game Boy Advance. And I still have it, to this day. It is in worse for wears. <laughs> it was bad when I had it, to be fair. Because the battery door had to be taped in place. Oh, no! Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it. Of course, I'd get the Game Boy Color. It's nicely detailed, I will admit. So, squidgy on a spring. And uh, squidgy on a spring. Bring. It's not two separate buttons, it's one button, as you can see. This one moves ever so slightly with this one, so yeah. Uh, no shoulder buttons, so yeah, you're not going to be um, pulling off any uh, smashes with this. But as a little spadget toy, that's pretty decent. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not something... I care about. I don't do Spadget toys. Heck, out of every Spadget fanner I've ever gotten, this is the only reason I get them. This is literally the only reason I hunt down Spadget fanners, because you never know when you're going to need a ball bearing. Seriously? Especially when you fiddle and build things, you will never know when you're going to need these, either for a gearbox, or a pulley system, or even just to build something to move around, because... I have this. I built in college the one day, and... I have no idea what I'm going to do with it, but I might just put a set of bearings along this and put a tripod mount onto it so I can make a sliding camera mount. But that's where ball bearings come in handy. I've literally got a container right there full of them. Varying sizes and varying frictions. So, yeah. Let's hope the second one of this gives me that one. Because I really want that Game Boy. <laughs> this has been Will Kaiser Drake, signing off.